I've got a few notes I want to go over. This, this won't take long. We had, just to let you know, we all opened our second campaign office here in Lexington County this past week. And the goal is to have three campaign offices across the entire county. So people with high gas prices, you won't have to go very far to get conservative literature to have support for our conservative candidates. And one of the, besides our speaker, our guest speaker tonight, one of the most important things we have is a volunteer sheet that's out front. All of you should have that. And if you haven't looked at that volunteer sheet, I've identified 13 or 14 critical factors for someone to be elected to office. And I've highlighted some in bold that if you'll check those, check off the ones you want to volunteer for. We need the conservative candidates like Dean Barbers, Katrina Sheely, uh, Ralph Kennedy. We need these conservative candidates to be elected to office and they need help. They need volunteers. So they need phone banking and door to door. Those are, I think, uh, West Island. West Island. Don't leave anybody else out who's running for office. We've got good conservative people in this, in this audience. If you can volunteer and, and, and support these people, even if you don't have a lot of money to give, give your time. So the thing that I think is strange, you know, I mean, you know this is not going to make me popular to say this, but I, I want to say it because it's the, it's the truth. I went back and read some of the federal papers. James Madison, James Madison, one of the founding fathers of the Constitution, said, politics is not a career. You're supposed to go in, be there a short time, and leave. You're not supposed to make a career out of it. Go back and do what you did originally. We don't have that, folks. So if you ask the question, I hear it all the time, are you happy with government? At the local level, at the state level, at the federal level, the answer is no, no, and no. They're not happy with federal government, state, or local. So you've got, on the ballot, you've got these people to vote for. And we almost had a debacle here where we didn't have any challengers. If this party hadn't worked hard to keep people on the ballot, the people, the public would not have a choice today. This is not right. This is not what this country is about. Just because you have an R by the name, by your name, doesn't mean that you have carte blanche and you can go out and do anything you want to do. So the question you have to put to the public is, if you're not happy with government, why do you keep voting for the same people over and over again? Albert Einstein, definition of insanity was if you expect to do the same things over and over again and expect a different result, that is insanity. So let's not elect the same people. This is not a career. It's not that I don't like these people. A lot of these people I like personally. But we've got to change the ethos, the basic principles of this country. It has to start here in Lexington County. We've had enough problems in Lexington County. Let's change it. Let's change it now. So and the other thing I don't understand is why our politicians are giving incentives to businesses to go overseas. It's time to bring manufacturing back. All, the only thing we have here is these service jobs. We need manufacturing back. Don't give incentives. And, and we have it here with Amazon. We have the government picking winners and losers for short-term benefits. It's got to stop. So, let, we, we've given, this party has worked hard to put these petition candidates on the ballot. We've given the citizens a choice now. There's nothing against the, the nominees or the incumbents, but the citizens choose. They choose a conservative or they choose a liberal. And if you define conservative, it's no longer defined by having an R by your name. We need to change that. The RAP Committee, Republican Adherence Committee, changes the whole paradigm. Let's support that. Let's support the candidates I've spoken with are all in favor of the right to And that's simply a committee where you can, as a politician, you can take a bill, submit it to them, and see if it adheres to the basic principles of conservatism. That's all it is. Nothing more than that. At this time, I'd like to introduce the international keynote speaker, Australian Nick Adams. And he's a, he was the youngest deputy mayor in Australia. He's aged a little bit since this was tied. He's a conservative political commentator, an author, columnist, and orator. Uh, let's give Nick Adams a round of applause.